an excellent balance of price and performance, the Women's Kelty Coyote 75 backpack delivers enough features while still maintaining a very streamlined and simple design. The first thing to talk about with any backpack is the suspension system and how it carries the load. So I'm gonna turn the pack around here and show off what we've got going on behind the scenes. So Kelty is using their innovative, perfect fit suspension. Um, there's a couple different things with the perfect fit suspension that makes it really comfortable and really intuitive. So with the perfect fit suspension, you don't have to wonder if you've got the pack adjusted correctly. Is it fitting me right? What uh, adjustments do I need to make? It um, basically fits to your torso length and to your body. So this part, this back panel moves up and down the suspension uh, bars right here. And what I normally do when I put the pack on, the first time you put it on, you move this back panel up to the top. You put the pack on, um, adjust the straps, and then all you have to do is pull down on these two tabs. That's gonna pull this back panel down and it's going to stop when it gets tight enough against your back. So against your shoulders, you pull down on these and it just makes it really simple, really intuitive. So you don't have to take the pack off, adjust it, put it back on and vice versa. So really great suspension system there. There is an HDPE frame sheet behind here that you can't see. It's just really lightweight. Um, it provides more support and stability for the pack, but it keeps the weight of the pack down. And you also have those supports in the hip belt as well. Talking about the padding um, of the shoulder straps, you've got really nice padding here. It is mesh on the inside as well, so that definitely lets warm air escape. And we've got a channel down here that lets warm air escape as well, so that's gonna cut down on hot spots. Behind this hip belt, you've got the same padding. This is a women's specific backpack, so you do have uh, women's specific contours in the hip belt and in the shoulder harness. And the torso length here is from about a 14 and a half inch torso up to an 18 and a half inch torso. So that's going to definitely accommodate a lot of different people. Um, top to bottom here, you've got load lifter straps. So once you have this dialed in, you just pull on those load lifters. You've got a sternum strap here and that's also adjustable. So really easy to slide that up and down. And down here on the hip belt, you do have um, pretty big hip belt pockets on either side. Those are just zippered pockets. Nice place to store a cell phone or a small camera or some snacks. There's an array of pockets and a lot of different ways to store your gear to keep your gear exactly where you want it. So starting here at the top lid, there is a just a big zippered compartment here on the top. This is a floating lid, so it floats up and down with these buckles here on the back and on the front. Turning the pack around, there's a very shallow pocket here on the top of the lid. So that's just a small pocket. Maybe put a map in there or something like that. If I uncover the lid, there is a nice collar on the top of this pack. So you've got access into this pack a couple different ways. This is a top loading, true top loading pack. So this top opens up very wide. It's easy to open up and you do have that big collar on top. So if you don't have this pack packed out completely, you can compress that down. There's a compression strap on top. But if you need that extra space, again, the lid is floating so you can really pack that out large open access into the top there. You can also access this pack in other ways. So there's a big U-shaped zipper right here. If you undo that, you can just pull that whole zipper down and have access all the way into the bottom and into the top of your pack. There is no sleeping bag compartment, but this big U-shaped zipper is really helpful for getting to gear on the bottom of your pack. Moving down the pack here, on the front, you have an extra little pocket. Again, big U-shaped zipper. I've got some 
uh, layers in here just to show the size. But within this pocket, you've got two little pockets. This would be a great place to store a map as well, some extra uh, small pieces of gear, and there's even a little toggle for your keys. There are two additional zippered pockets here on the sides, and these are bellows pockets. So if you don't have them packed out, they cinch down really easily, and the zipper runs all the way around that side, so really easy access into both sides. And this is actually a pass-through pocket. You can see I kind of put my arm through there. It would be a great place to put tent poles or something longer that you need to store on the outside of your pack. You've got stretchy pockets on the sides. So if you do have tent poles, they can rest in that pocket. Go through this compression strap and up through the top. There's a compression strap up here too. Last quick features on the front of the pack, there's a really nice haul loop right here. So if you're using this as a travel pack more than a trail pack, um, there's easy ways to pick it up. So you've got a big haul loop here, there's a nice grab carry handle in the back, and that allows you to pick the pack up um, without damaging any of the smaller straps. Uh, one other thing to mention is this top lid pocket actually comes off of the pack. There are straps underneath, so you can actually use that top lid as a day pack. So if you're traveling with this, um, you can take that pack off, leave the main body at, at home or um, you know back at camp, and then take just this pack with you. So it makes it really convenient for travel. You don't have to take an extra small backpack with you. With all the features here, the streamlined and simple design, the perfect fit suspension of the back panel, you can be confident you're gonna be wearing this pack well on your next adventure. It is the Kelty Coyote 75 Women's Backpack.